With the latest from News 4 Jax, I'm Mary Beer. Breaking news from downtown Jacksonville and the controversy over the future of the city's public utility, a four-term city councilman wants the JEA CEO to resign. Matt Carlucci, the at-large Group 4 representative of city council, sent an email to several people tonight saying in part, it is time for the JEA board to call for the resignation of CEO Aaron Zahn. Carlucci told News 4 Jax tonight he feels the city is stuck. We're working together reaction from JEA. Thousands of dollars in stolen diamonds and now a federal indictment reveals it can all be traced back to a crew out of Detroit, Michigan. Four men arrested following a smash and grab at the Jared Jewelers at St. John's Town Center are among 10 people facing federal charges in connection with more than 30 robberies across the United States. According to the indictment, before the group robbed the Jareds at the Town Center Parkway in Jacksonville, workers were tipped off by investigators that their store would likely be the next target. According to investigators, they were already tracking a key person. Davin McQuill Newby, the person seen being arrested by Kingsland police. Informants told the FBI Newby's job was to follow the robbers and drive the stolen diamonds back to Michigan. And while the lighting of the city's Christmas tree is no longer held on this night after Thanksgiving at the landing downtown, the traditional city light and boat parade will go on this weekend, launching on the St. John's at 630 Saturday night. Always the latest news online at newsforjax.com.